Chef Pennington here. Today we are doing baklava, one of my absolute favorite desserts. This is absolutely amazing. We're talking texture, sweetness, the crispy, the crunchy. Oh my gosh, it's so great. I love putting it in the refrigerator after everything's cooled down and letting it set up that way and then eating it when it's slightly cool. Just the crispiness, it's amazing. So we're using phyllo dough, which is a really cool ingredient. I'm sure some of y'all have used it or heard of it. It's just these really thin sheets that want to crisp up and create an amazing texture. And we're going to layer a bunch of them with layers of nuts in between. And then we're going to make a wonderful syrup, mainly made out of honey. We're not adding any like table sugar, none of that stuff, which some recipes call for. And I guess that's the way they like to roll, but mine is perfectly sweet. You won't miss any of the sugar. It's natural and it tastes so much better than using white sugar. I mean, just no. <laughs> if you see a recipe for that, just turn off and move to the next one. So the first piece of phyllo dough, try to get it to fit really nicely. And this stuff wants to tear. It really does. A number of folks suggest taking like a wet cloth and putting on top of the phyllo dough that you're not using right now, which if you're going to take your time or if you have kids, and you're going to get distracted. I would suggest doing that. Just make sure that the towel is not wet, just damp, just to keep it. Cause once these phyllo dough sheets start to dry out, they just crumble into pieces. Um, this was done in under 15 minutes easily. Actually, I think it took more like 10 minutes and I never mess with covering it. So kind of gauge how long you think it's going to take you. We're going to be using some pecans, some walnut and some pistachios. I don't believe the pecans are traditional, but I'm from Texas and we love pecans down here or pecans where you guys are from. And it just adds more flavor. So I think the three nuts is the way to go. I mean, this is phyllo dough and nuts and sweetness. So why not add more nuts? And if you guys like another nut, you want to add it just think of the texture like almonds do not belong in this dish unless they were maybe sliced slivered almonds because it's just gonna be way too twosome that would be a big no-no so when we're putting the phyllo dough sheets down i like to put two down at a time and every so often maybe every other layer to kind of depends on how i'm feeling i'll use three layers so we're creating additional textures you might say and then when we get to the top we'll use a number of pieces so Something else to consider when you're building these bottom layers, this is where you want to use the nuts. We want them primarily at the bottom and not at the top. So that our very top pieces are very light and flaky, as you guys will see. All right, so what we're going to do here, this is the very top layer. I'm using four sheets. You guys could use five, you could use three, but I think four is the number. And we're not, we're not going to put any butter on this until after we cut it. And there's a couple of schools of thought on how to cut this and it's completely up to you. There's no right or wrong way. There will be a recipe link below that will have all the instructions and all the measurements, all that kind of stuff. So no worries there. Um, I also talk about some of the other ways that you can cut this. So I just bring a traditional diagonal, you know, crosshatch, I guess you might call it. Um, but there are a few other different ways. There's no wrong or right way to do it. It's whatever you guys think. But if you guys wanted to see another way than what I have here in the video, check the link below. So that was in real time. I did that first cut so you guys could see how I moved the knife. You really want to make sure that you're cutting all the way to the bottom. So after this has been baked off and the syrup's had a chance to get in the bottom and settle, when you pull each piece out, it just makes it a lot easier. So try to take your time there. And I'm just doing a simple cross hatch right there, which I like. works really well. And then after this, what we're going to do is we're going to use a little bit of butter and we're going to dab the top. This is our presentation layer. So this is what's going to come out looking beautiful, golden brown and awesome. And we're going to be like, oh, this is so amazing. You don't have to use a ton. Just try to get enough where each little piece has got a little bit of butter. And then these are pistachios crumbled up. Totally up to you if you want to use it. As it bakes off, they get kind of nutty and they add a little more flavor. But keep an eye because if you... Your, you know, your oven's a little off one way or another. They can seem to like they're almost wanting to burn. So you might wait after you've made this a time or two to see how your oven behaves. All right, making the syrup could not be easier. We're using high quality butter. We love, we love butter. This is a rich, delicious dessert. So we're not counting calories today. We're gonna use two types of cinnamons. 
We're going to use Saigon cinnamon, which is considered the best in the world. It's very, very, very available these days, so you can find that everywhere. Most places, at least. At least Whole Foods and stuff like that. And we're going to use an Indonesian, which the two different cinnamons, they do not taste the same. It just offers more depth of flavor. If you can't find them, that's not a problem. The idea is we're using cinnamon. So just a little way to kind of play with the flavors if you wanted to. A little bit of nutmeg. Nutmeg is just an underutilized, wonderful ingredient. It just brings, like we said, more flavor. And this is our friend salt. Salt brings out flavor. So you don't have to use the salt if you don't want, but I, I really think it does add a lot. I'm using some local raw honey. I'm really into that stuff. It's really good for your allergies and stuff like that. Plus, it's really good for you. It's kind of like a daily vitamin in a way. And there we go, guys. Those have baked off. It took about 25 minutes. Be sure to open the, the oven about 10 minutes in and start looking just to make sure everything's going good. And then we, put, we let it cool a little bit, and then we add our syrup. When adding the syrup, you guys can put as little or as much as you want. Use a little more than you think because it's going to look like that's a lot of syrup, but it's going to... It's going to go down to the bottom mostly and those top pieces guys are still going to be crispy it's amazing how it works but it really does work so good and i love it cold out of the refrigerator it's so great you guys got to try it let's take a little listen crispiness so good might be one of my favorite desserts ever i think it is actually i think i've already made my mind up on that Come join us on social media. We'd love to have you. Our links will be below. Go ahead and subscribe. Hit the like button if you enjoyed. Recipe, ingredients, everything below. Here's some more of our desserts. Take a look. And then over there is a link back to our website. And you guys have the best. Take care.